Tonight, police are once again on the hunt for teenagers accused in a violent attack in New York City. This time, the victim, an off-duty firefighter, he suffered a concussion and broken teeth. Police say this group of teens is responsible. They say the 38-year-old firefighter stepped in to try to stop the group from harassing an elderly couple on East 86th Street in Manhattan last weekend when one teen punched him, threw him to the ground, and struck him all over his body. Police are looking for three girls and three boys, all between the ages of 15 and 17. This attack comes just after the arrests of a 12-year-old girl and two 13-year-old girls in a series of attacks at Morningside Park. What is going on? Joining me now, clinical psychologist and friend of the show, Dr. Jeffrey Gardier. Doc, welcome back to Chasing News. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Doc, that is the question. What is going on? It seems these kids are out of control. Uh, you know, it, first let me ask you, do you think there's a connection, not necessarily in the crimes, but in the fact that we're talking about teenagers, uh, you know, some even younger, 12 years old? Well, the studies are showing, Bill, that uh, a lot of our youngsters are very disaffected, very separated from society, have been exposed to all sorts of violence. And I'm not vilifying the, the gaming industry, video gaming in, uh, industry, but it does have an effect we're seeing on some of the behaviors at, for kids who are at risk. Doc, is part of it also just a lack of respect for authority? We have kids pushing back on teachers, pushing back on cops. There, there, there seems to be a lack of authority. Who's in charge? Well, when we see that lack of authority, I think the real issue is that there may be some mental health challenges, uh, perhaps poverty. Uh, kids don't operate. People don't operate in a vacuum, as I've said. So there are yep. other behavioral things going on. But at the end of the day, we as the parents are in charge. Society is in charge. It does take a village. And perhaps we fail these kids that we've seen out here acting out in this mm. way, but they will have to pay for their own behaviors, uh, whether it's doing time, but also more importantly, yeah, getting yeah. therapy to fix whatever's broken. Well, in order to have that village, you got to have that strong family too. So thank you, Doc. Uh, always good to talk to you. Take care. Thank you.